Hey, good morning, high school staff. Uh, my name is Becky Lawrence, and I am a student resource coordinator here at MGLVA. So I'm one of three across our school. Um, I am focused specifically on high school, um, which is really cool, and I like a lot of you. So um, I used to work here as one of the advisors, and I'm still super connected to the advisors. Um, my role just looks a little different. So. Um, I was asked the other day if I could just explain a little bit of what makes uh, this role a little bit different. So um, we still have Rochelle Jefferson working with us, which is awesome. Rochelle's super experienced, super good, and she's working primarily with um, students that fall within the McKinney-Vento population. So McKinney-Vento is a law basically protecting any students who are homeless or displaced. So if you have any students who would fall under the umbrella of homeless or displaced, um, please um, make sure you're putting in a student resource referral so Rochelle can start working with them. Um, also, there's other times when we'll be working with people that are um, under resource. So this may look at our school like um, having food shortages, um, concerns with shelter like your home, but then also um, internet scarcity. So um, it's easiest for us to help if they're um, lower income. Um, that is hard for them to pay for internet versus when it's hard for them to secure internet because they're in a rural area. But either way, um, if you know that internet is um, causing problems for a student from their ability to learn and be engaged, um, make sure that you're putting that referral in so we can at least try to help if we're able to. Um, so another t other times when you would send in a referral to me, um, basically, I like to think of it as like a grab bag of students who may need um, some extra support. Um, so a lot of my role is connecting them to outside resources. So, um, but those students would be students that we have like strong mental health concerns. So can we get them connected to outside counseling, outside therapy, support groups in their community? Um, students who may be parenting or pregnant. Um, we know that our school is a safe haven for kids going through big experiences like that. Um, so getting them support they need, because that is a big deal. Um, it's hard for me to parent and work. I can't imagine parenting and schooling. So getting them connected. Um, and then also, can we help them get WIC? Can we help them get an EBT? Can we get them connected to infant mental health care? Different resources within their community. Um, and then students that are going through some kind of hospitalization. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with an example that happened um, two weeks ago. Um, everyone knows Liz Sidebotham, right? Like one of the best teachers ever. Um, so she sent me, forwarded me an email from a kiddo that said, hi, I can't do my, um, my social studies assignment today. Um, I'm 20 weeks pregnant. I'm in extreme pain. I think I'm miscarrying. I don't know what to do. Um, so anyway, I can't get my assignment in on time. Thanks. Um, so these are the, the emails we're getting, right? Is that students are tr looking for connection. Um, and so this is where it's like, whoa, my role in this as a teacher is that assignment. But you can take that other third of the email where it's like this kid is hurting. They need help. We need to get them connected and hand them towards me um, so I can try to get them those outside resources and support they need. So I'm here to help. I want to help. Please let me. Um, so if you have a kiddo on your heart that you're like, I think they might fit into this, um, please, especially we know a lot of kids are grieving losses, big losses right now. Um, that's another kiddo we want to help. So um, go ahead. Um, you're going to submit a student resource referral. So um, I'm going to have that a link available to you, but it's a super easy form. I'm not asking for anything crazy. Just tell me what you know um, so I can start hopefully um, getting them connected to resources in their community and maybe feeling just a smidge better. So, all right. Thanks. Bye.